Hi everybody, Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about what is on your CEO's mind. I bring this up because one of the things that I've talked about in videos and in articles and in our podcasts a number of times, um, and one of the challenges that we hear from our clients and from business continuity and crisis management professionals is how they can get more influence in the C-suite. What are, what are our executives and our boards talking about and thinking about? And so I wanna tell you, as of right now, the five things that your CEO is most likely concerned with, and then for you to think about how you can put these things in context for your resilience program, for your business continuity, crisis management, crisis communications program. So here are the five things that we think are on your CEO and board's minds right now. The first one is geopolitical and political uncertainty. The broader political landscape and the geopolitical risk landscape right now, the tensions we see are significant and there are significant risks to business growth and stability. There's a recent survey of more than 1,300 CEOs of major global firms, and in that they highlighted that geopolit geopolitics and political uncertainty were their leading perceived risk in 2023. And this emphasizes a shift from previous years when those concerns didn't even come into the top five. The continuous volatility in both American politics and in geopolitical risk and geoeconomic relations between major economies has been acknowledged broadly as a matter of concern for large organizations. And we continue to anticipate upheavals on a global scale, including what we just saw with Hamas's terrorist attack on Israel that has destabilized the Middle East, led to military conflict, and threatens to embroil other countries in the conflict as well. The second thing on your CEO's mind right now is disruptions to your entire supply chain. Supply chain risks have been a top five concern for executives for many years, particularly due to the triple threat we see right now between uh, uh, um, cybersecurity issues, ransomware, cyber extortion, all of that, uh, general supply chain disruption, geopolitical risk and how that impacts the supply chain, and the risk of fraud. And all of this impacts companies' growth prospects. Global, the potential for global economic downturns, regional recessions, and supply chain issues, all of these further exasperated by the pandemic-related disruptions in some regions identify this as a high-impact event that challenges organizations. The third is the global economy, or economic challenges in general. The fight against inflation is a critical global issue that affects cash flow and the strategic spending decisions of your customers. Intertwine that with general dissatisfaction with the labor force right now in this post-pandemic era between burnout and limited advancement opportunities and the potential for strikes that we're seeing, this labor unrest, all of this feeds into economic, uh, economic uncertainty and uncertainty in the economy stifles decision-making. It causes some leaders, some CEOs, to be more cautious about acting when there is an unclear economic outlook. The fourth concern for your CEO and senior executives right now is organizational adaptability. Changing business models and the ability to manage and adapt to that and aligning those with the evolving perceptions of your stakeholders, your clients, your investors, your employees, your sales prospects. This is a pressing concern for CEOs and boards right now. Creating a conducive, hybrid, flexible, and distributed culture for remote teams, fostering inclusion, belonging, equity, and diversity, and bolstering adaptability and resilience among teams. These are all additional layers that are challenging organizational adaptability right now that your senior leaders are having to deal with. And last but not least is strategic goal alignment, that meeting your current company's goals financially and strategically amid all of these shifting control dynamics between employers and employees is a notable concern right now. Ensuring that the right people are on the team and are in place to reach organizational goals and finding ways to empower, inspire, and motivate your workforce are part of this overarching challenge. These five topics really make up a blend of external market forces and conditions and internal organizational dynamics. It really plays to understanding the complex nature of organizations in 2023. 
engaging in proactive risk management, fostering a culture of adaptability, and maintaining a strategic focus on core business goals are some key approaches for companies to navigate these multifaceted challenges they're faced with right now. So what does this mean for business continuity, crisis management, and resilience professionals as a whole? Well, these are all risks that you can account for as a part of business kind and crisis management planning. More importantly, these are risks you need to be thinking about in terms of how you position your program and how you make sure that your program and your approach and conversation with senior leaders are aligned against these risks. Your company may have a different set of the top five risks, the top five concerns with your business landscape, the way your leaders see them. It's an incumbent upon you as the resilience leader or as a resilience professional to take the time to understand and listen to what they're talking about and to make sure that your program is appropriately aligned. That's it for this video. We'll be back in the coming days with even more video content. You can learn more at brightpath.com. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.